welcome back to another MD Fish Tanks build video, guys. So very recently, I was at Made Ahead Aquatics in uh, Taunton, UK, and they had a better fish there that was called a Hellboy. I don't know why. I think it's because it's got like black eyes and a red face. Instantly though, I looked at his face and thought, Hellboy, <laughs> even before I read the label, I had to get it. So I didn't get it straight away, but I went back a few weeks later and it was still there. So I grabbed the chance to get it. Anyway, that fish is back home now and he's in here. Oh, he, he was in here. Oh, there he is. Hello. <laughs> he is so cool. Oh, we can't really get a good look at him at the moment, but come over here. Come this way. He doesn't know me yet. He doesn't. I've trained all my other fish to know me. So if I tap on the glass, they'll come forward. But he doesn't know that yet. He just knows to be scared. Anyway, so this is not his, you know, full setup. This is just temporary tank that I'm keeping some moss balls in. But it's been running for a long time, so it's all healthy and good. There's no heater, but the room's heated, so I don't have to heat any of my tanks, to be honest. Apart from the massive discus tank and that's because they require a lot higher temperatures but anyway so very recently i set up this endler tank at the end here these have just got some plants in i want to do the middle one today for that better fish i want to do something really simple uh, but i think it's going to look really good it should do anyway i mean the better fish is amazing looking so i think that the scape should be simple so that we can see the fish rather than you know so much of the of the scape but it'll still be a good look don't get me wrong and then obviously next to this rack we've got my whole sort of shrimp tank set up and i've got some killies on the bottom as well in this tank here I've, I've got this Echinodorus, 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 that's it, Echinodorus Rose, it's an Amazon sword is the easier way to say it, isn't it? See, I've got that one and there's one next to it there as well, that's a different variety, that is the Marty Major or something, I don't, oh hello Shrimpy, oh, these are Santa Claus shrimp, really really cool looking shrimp, but anyway yeah, so I'm going to need to get, get the water out of this tank and then I want to paint the background white so it looks awesome i've just done it on one of my other tanks and it worked really well At the moment it's not very bright but when we've got a white background it should look really good Okay, we're done. So I put about four or five coats on. It's just ordinary like ceiling paint. If I scratch the back, it will come off. So I can remove it if I want to as well. Now, in between each layer there, you can see I was using a hairdryer to dry it. And you're probably thinking, why have you got a hairdryer, MD? You don't need that. Well, it's my wife's, don't tell her I've got it. Right, that is looking awesome, really fresh. Um, I've lowered the light slightly just to make it a little bit brighter. I think it looks much better this way um, but it's kind of glary on the background at the moment but it won't be in a minute when it's filled up with water and when we've done the tank so first of all i'm going to do what i always do which is put down a little base layer of gravel sand and aqua soil i just find it works so well it's a great start to any tank i did it on this one and you know look at how great that's growing in and also it seems to give long-term success as well combined with some root tabs oh you're away you're flying Right, there we go. So we've got a little bit of the aqua soil and we've got the root tabs. So they're going to provide all the nutrients to the, the roots of the plants that we've got going in there. But obviously that look, doesn't look very pretty, does it? So we need to put a decorative sand on top of that. And for that, I've got this nice Hugo Kamishi natural, it's called. Yeah, it's quite a nice look. And all we're going to do is just sprinkle it over the top and get a good inch or so for us to be able to plant into. Okay, normally I really don't care about getting perfectly flat sort of substrates and, and decorative sand. It's not something that I spend a lot of time worrying about. As you can see here, look, so this is my, um, whoa, that's way too bright. 
there we go look yeah this is my buddha tank it's growing in great similar sort of system to what i've got in this little nano tank so you can see it works well and look look at the foreground up down up down all mixed doesn't bother me at all but the reason i want to do it on this one is because i want to do like a really sort of zen like look uh, complete opposite of this tank and of the uh the amazon aquarium next to it oh the reflections are awful sorry i didn't put the curtain up never mind but yeah you can see like it's all rough and it's sort of some areas go up some areas go down and that's because it's like a natural river look and it looks great but that's not what we're going for on this nano tank right now it's time for our hardscape now the tank next to it the end of the tank here has got awesome dragonstone in it now that looks really cool let's go for something completely different and do some rounded pebbles i love pebbles <laughs> I think that works really well. It looks cool, doesn't it? It looks like a crown or something. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to go over complicated. I just keep it all there. Keep everything else as simple as it is. How good would that look? A massive piece of Java fern or trident Java fern, something like that in the middle. A little bit of mosses around the side. A little bit of dwarf hair grass. Oh, that looked great. I'm not going to overdo it. I'm going to keep it simple. But all of that wood is bone dry and has been out of water for a long time. I have had it in water, except for that bit, that bit you can see there, right in the middle. Um, so what I'm going to need to do is just glue it down. I'm going to use the Ciano Acrylate glue. <laughs> it's all fish and plant safe, guys. Uh, just a few dabs here and there. Should lock it all together. It's really strong stuff, so it's going to be more than enough to hold little bits of wood like that down. Right, it's now been a day and the wood is fully stuck down and solid. You don't need to wait a full day, it's just that I went home and now it's the next day. <laughs> but I've also removed the white backgrounds that I painted on. Now this is because in this situation the light is raised right above and there's a white wall behind it, which means there's actually more light to be able to bounce back into the tank than if I painted the background white I found. It's okay, I mean on setups where the light is sat on top, right on top of the rim of the tank, it works really well and it looks great. It didn't really work on this, but that's fine. Just change it back and we're all good. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get on with planting. First of all, let's get our focal point. I want a nice big fern in that middle spot. I've attached the... Oh, I'm way too close. So I've attached all of this java fern to a piece of rock using the same glue. It works really, really well. And it means that I could just place it straight in then in the middle of the uh, of the centerpiece, if you like. And I can also then remove it whenever I want to, you know, give it a rinse off or whatever I want. It just means that it's not like solidly in place i mean eventually all the roots will grow around it but whilst the tank's settling in and you're getting like a build up of detritus and things you can just take it out and clean it if you need to
Right, there we are, looking great. Now, mosses are awesome because they give us that sort of instantly aged look. I've just, I've forgot to wipe all the water off the glass, haven't I? Doesn't matter, you guys know what I'm saying. So, like, look, it instantly looks like it's been there for quite a while now because of those finer details. And that's why I want to add a few more finer details to this bottom middle section and then call it a day. I want to keep it nice and simple, like I said. It's very hard for me to stick to that, but I'm going to, because this is quite a complicated skate right next to it, isn't it? So we want to keep the one, this one simple, and I think the two contrasts will work really well. <laughs> and stop there i think i've absolutely nailed it uh, any more would be overdoing it i was tempted to put a load of foreground plants in let's just keep it like that if i, if I want to do something like that later on i can always add uh, but for now really really pleased with how that looks but obviously we can't leave it like that so let's fill it up with water Look at it immense. Now, I know this is really gonna annoy some of you, that water line, but remember, I've got a better fish going in. Oh yeah, you do know that, the thumbnail. <laughs> I've got a better fish going in here. So that, well, I've always found that that level there, a good inch or so down with a male better fish, tends to be all right. Well, females have been fine as well, to be honest. So yeah, like that, that might annoy you. <laughs> For those of you with OCD, I do apologize, but it is necessary unless you want to put a lid on and I hate lids. I'd rather drop the water line than put a lid on, put it that way. So we're going to need a filter for this setup. Well, we're not going to need to, but I really want to put a filter on there. So I'm going to use this tiny little one that uh, I'm using on the tank right next to it. It works really well. It's very cheap. I'll leave a link for you guys in the description, but yeah, a cute little hang on the back just to get some more water movement, really. You're not going to get a ton of beneficial bacteria colonizing that. You'll get more in the tank, to be honest but it does keep that water flow going. Right, everything's set, let's go put the little guy in. Oh, hell boy, where are you? There he is. Looking so good, isn't he? Oh yes, are you ready to go in your new home? Why am I talking to you like a little doggy? You're not a doggo. <laughs> <laughs> 